As we wrap up our devotions uh, this week, I want to kind of just circle back to um, the fact that if I'm going to if I'm going to trust the authority of Christ, how do I do that? Um, and it's exactly all the things that the uh, chief priests and the teachers of the law and the elders couldn't do. It's all the things they didn't do, right? They, they in their own need to kind of protect their own man-made authority, um, they wanted to protect it and it became a mob. Uh, when Jesus corrected them, they rejected it and became mad. Um, when they were desperate, um, they faked it and, you know, became manipulative, um, put on a mask and pretended to be, you know, spies. Um, and it's exactly what we do. We, we have a tendency in life to put on masks whenever we feel threatened or desperate to, to not lose, lose our identity or lose our security or lose our power. Um, we fake it. We become pretentious. Um, we oftentimes, when we're corrected by somebody, we're, we're defensive and we reject the correction and don't tell me that. Who are they to talk to me that way? Um, oftentimes when we feel threatened in some way, we've got to be defensive. And, and if we can get a group of people to help us gang up on them and intim intimidate them so they'll leave us alone, we'll do it. It's kind of our flesh, right? There was just flailing flesh <laughs> all over the chief priests, teachers of the law and the elders. So we do just the opposite. To trust Jesus, we do just the opposite. We, we let him be our protection. <laughs> Think about Moses in, in Exodus 15. Uh, Moses said, the Lord is my strength and my defense. He became my salvation. It's the, it's, the, it's the song that Moses wrote. He threw the horse and the rider into the sea, right? He's just extolling the, the sufficiency of God to protect him, and he did. The psalmist in Psalms uh, 18, 1 and 2, he says, The Lord, I love the Lord. He is my strength. He's my rock and my fortress. He's saying, God's got it. He'll protect me. Uh, think about what it says in Hebrews. It says, um, you will never leave me or forsake me. What can man do to me? <laughs> think about Romans 8 where he says, what shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? You know, over and over and over again, we are just admonished in Scripture, let God be our protection. He's got us. He's got our back. And if for some reason God allows me to be taken out of this world because of something, there's a better world waiting. Let him be your protection. Trust him. You see, when I trust Jesus' authority, I will love him. I will trust him. I will obey him. Let Jesus be your protection. And let Jesus give you correction. Let, no matter what the voice is, it might be the voice of an enemy, it might be the voice of a neighbor, a voice of a coworker. let Jesus come into that correction and give you direction. He wants to do that. It's my ability to hear others and, and receive input, not my defensiveness and not my rebuttal and, and not my trying to escape it. Let Jesus be my correction. Lord, what am I hearing that I can receive from you? God, what might, what little part of truth might be somewhere mixed in this criticism or this correction that I can receive and accept? Let him be your correction. Let him be your protection. And let him change the third thing. Let him change your reflection. Let him change your reflection. In 2 Corinthians 4, it says that we are being changed from glory to glory to reflect his image. That is always God's agenda. You see, whenever Jesus is my ultimate authority, he always has an agenda, and that agenda is to make me more like him to cause me to reflect him more. When that begins to happen, I trust him more. I love him more. And I reflect him more. Heavenly Father, we simply ask you today, Lord, as we close out this week's devotions, that you would help us, Lord, to be more devoted to you. More devoted to allow you to be our defense anytime we're threatened. Lord, more willing to let you 
refine how correction takes place in our lives, Lord, so we can be refined. So, Lord, we can be changed to reflect you more. Be the reflection of Christ and our strengths and our weaknesses and our failures and our successes. Jesus, be Lord of all, Lord of everything. As much as we know how, Lord, today we give you all that we are and all that we're becoming. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you this weekend.